Okay, so here we are. Um, as promised, I'm going to try to go through what these pedals sound like. Um, I posted some pictures a couple of weeks ago of um, redoing my pedal board um, for a couple of reasons. One was um, I, I, I'm using the, the Zoom and um, Strymon Zoom power source system, which I'll turn this over later and show you. Um, and um, I've been you know, listening to things that Jackson Kinchelo and Jason Ritchie the guys that are way ahead of everybody else in this stuff um, suggest about pedal order and other things that could be of interest. And um, so I'm trying some stuff. I think I'll um, just give you a quick overview. But first I'll say this. Um, it doesn't matter how many toys you have or how many pedals you have or this, that, the other thing. What's important is, is um, why you have them what you want to do with them and are you getting out of it um, what you want um, I think it's real important to not chase after the next cool thing uh, if you can't incorporate it into your playing or you don't understand how to use it um, for me I'm a little analog I think I'm doing pretty good I'm getting better and better at this better and better about um, about introducing things about um, understanding how things work, but step by step, I'm still relatively um, simple compared to Jackson and Jason, the two J brothers here. But um, here's some of the stuff that I'm doing. First, um, I'm using this um, RE10 um, uh, electric voice microphone. Um, they're, they're not made anymore. Um, I first saw Carlos Del Junco use it. Uh, I bought one in, in the 90s from Sandy Weltman. It, it blew up uh, a few months ago or last year, and Craig Human found me another one and and made sure that it was in top shape, and I'm really happy about that. I also use uh, Jason Ritchie's mic. I use Greg Human's um, Bulletini for some stuff. I use his, um, his 545 um, um, uh, incorporated mic for some other stuff. And um, I use an old 70s 545 for some recording as well. Um, from there, I go into a um, into a volume pedal. And from there, this is something new. I mean, as of this morning, um, a couple of months ago, I bought this little thing. It's a quilter fan block. I'm kind of a an amp denier or something. <laughs> I mean... I don't want to carry heavy stuff around. I don't want to depend on certain things because um, I travel. You know, I mean, a lot of what I'm doing and the conciseness of it is is so I can get in and out of airplanes, airports, different countries, be able to play through that power system, which is one thing the Zoom does is um, all I have to do is, is get another power cord, the right one, and... Um, you know, like an EU power cord from there, and it, it, it floats right in. What I've been doing is I've been using a, uh, a cut-down VC-508, which I first heard about this from Richard Hunter, and um, it's kind of like my, volume, uh, my distortion pedal. It's got one tube in it. It's about the size of a big toaster. Um, I actually have one in Europe. I mean, you can buy them for 100 bucks. Um, you know, with, with the speaker, which then I just cut out uh, because... There's, there's no need for it for me. Anyway, um, so I started fooling around with this thing this morning, and I don't know. It sounds pretty darn good. Uh, you can see I've got the master up, the gain up a bit, tone kind of right in the middle there. It's a cab sim. I've also got a volume pedal here, which I'll talk to you about. It's an earthquake tone job, and it's I kind of use it because um, I don't have room for a clean cat and this. I kind of use it as a little boost pedal on some things, but it also gives me some EQ and I could, you know, turn the volume down um, if I want to incorporate it with other pedals that have gain, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'll show you how that, some of that stuff works. Um, let's see. So back to it. So um, I go from the volume pedal to this little um, fan and power block. And then from there, I start my pedal chain. Start out with compression. A lot of this I got from Jason Ritchie video. 
that he posted a couple of months ago. I thought it was concise and good. Um, you know, as he said, it's not exactly how things go. Like, I start with my power. I've tried it both ways, and um, things are too distorted when I, I use the power at the end of, of the loop, with, with the VC-508 anyway. I might try this at the end of the loop, and we'll see how it goes. But for now, I got it at the beginning of the loop. So um, I go into the clean cat, the flat cat, I mean, um, compressor. It's really good. It works. I mean, gosh, I don't know how I, I, I did anything without it, especially using the Maxon, which I had off my board for a year because just feedback. And then Jason Ritchie said, well, yeah, you need compression, man. And um, he was right. So i show you that works. I just got this harp chorus, and I'm just trying to fool around with it. Um, then the next thing, so those are the... Um, in his suggested order, those are the first kinds of things, envelope type of things. Then there's a power source, um, a power pedal, which he says not too many people use. I know um, Roscoe Selly uses it. That's where I got it from. Um, and after that, I go into um, another earthquake pedal, the depths. You'll hear what that sounds like. Um, this Electro Harmonics, Harmonics um, Synth 9, which uh, it's really cool. I've kind of settled on this um, poly... Um, what is that? Poly 9 yeah, is, is, is my sort of go-to sound, and I've got a an EQ that works. And that yellow cord will take you all the way over to this side here. And this, so this is the order here, the Strymon, which is fantastic pedal. This is the organ pedal. Pog, it's a mini Pog, which is great. Then I've got two TC Electronics um, pedals for delays. Um, the way I think of it is long delay, short delay. Um, the Mini is really um, this, the 2290 setting, and you'll hear I've got that set up. Then I go into a TC Electronics Hall of Fame reverb, which has got a lot of really cool things. I'll take you through a few of them. And then the Sonic Stomp, which Jason Ritchie sort of found for the harmonica world, and um, good thing that he did because it works really good. And he makes it clear that... Um, it has to be at the end of the chain. And guy was um, traveled with last year. He's a he's a professional sound guy. Um, does sound for big big rooms, two hundred fifty cap, thousand cap rooms. And he suggested this setting for the sonic stomp. Um, and he gave me reasons, tech reasons why I can't repeat to you because I don't remember. But this is the way he insists it has to be, and it sounds really good that way. From there, I go to. Um, to a direct box, um, uh, input, uh, and then, um, of course, then you can go into the board uh, from there. But um, I also go through into some kind of monitor when I'm home or if I'm, you know, if I'm local. Uh, I'll use this Roland keyboard amp. It's a 40-watt amp. Uh, it's clean. Yeah, it sounds good. I don't need any extra... Um, sonic information. I don't need any color. It doesn't feed back and it gives me volume. What I need is stage monitor. I don't want to depend on sound guy to give me monitor and have to get it through the monitors and then everything feeds back for some reason. Uh, he's got all the sound he needs for me and then I've got I've got the control of the sound that I want for myself. Okay, first thing is volume pedal. That means no sound. <laughs> Which is good in between sets. Um, you don't want your stuff leaking or something. You just turn it, turn the volume pedal off. It also helps with that synth nine, especially some of the sounds in it are are, are squirrely, right? And uh, so it helps me ease it in. And any kind of feedback issue or something, it always helps. You know, you've got lots of different ways to manipulate sound here. So um, as I push this down, that has. The only thing that's on there is the um, is the compressor. Let's see, I had, I had a delay there. It's the compressor, the um, volume pedal, and um, the reverb and the sonic stomp. Um, with the quilter, it sounds like I need the volume pedal on all the time. Um, if you can look down here, this gives me lots of different um, lots of different uh, options for volume. Um, <laughs> So, 
That's really good. And, you know, it gives me trouble if I want. I've got an A harp here, so. That might be helpful. Bitch. It certainly gives it some body. I'll leave that here if you want bass on it. I don't think it does too much in this situation. All right. Um, reverb. You got right over here. Um, of course, the sonic stomp is on all the time. I leave reverb on all the time. Um, this is what it sound. This is what it sounds like with reverb. Here's what it's like without reverb. Really dry, really good. That's the, what I've got it in is the short reverb here. I've got you know you can see what the settings are. Everything's about um, about um, about eleven o'clock, I'd say. Um, Ten thirty, let's say. Um, that's the room reverb. It's the smallest one. The hall. It's a little bigger. You can hear that. It's a little longer. Versus. Versus. Nothing, right? Um, uh, the other, I'm just gonna go through the ones that I use. The church is a lot longer. Which is cool. And the one that I really am fascinated by is this. It's MOD. I don't know what that stands for. A friend of mine. Um, Guitarist, um, we were doing a session and um, and he played um, and he, he used on his pedal board with this whole thing. So I'm always interested in other musicians when they've got a pedal that I've got. You know, like what do they know? And he was using this thing all the time, and it was really cool. And again, it's no delay or anything on it, so I'll keep it the short reverb right now. Um, the next thing, um, I think I'll go through quickly is the delays here. Um, I use this short delay, um, it's the 2290s, the original um, digital delay that, um, that TC Electronics came, back, came out with, I guess in the 90s or something. And I've got it to where it, all it does is it fattens the sound. So, you know, it's, I'm not doing a big delay with it. And, you know, when you're playing with people, like, it's flattened a little bit more, so that's good. The difference between that and the long delay is, um, this is the tape echo delay, which, again, I, I first heard from Carlos Del Unco, and he's got a um, vintage one, but um, I, I, I certainly don't mind through the pedals. Uh, Dan Electro has a beautiful one, too. Um, um, <laughs> Again, um, the way I organize my delays and the reason I have two pedals on, because I've got 10 delay settings on that one flashback, and I might just sometime, if I have a need for room, um, just go to one. But when you plan, um, it's you don't want to be bending down and, and changing things on your board. You know, you want to sort of um, uh, organize your set, let's say, the way you've got a certain amount of settings that, that go the way that they go. and if. And maybe in the second set, you've got, um, if you want to change settings some, you can do that. That doesn't go 100%, but it certainly makes sense to me, and it's certainly something that uh, I certainly would recommend. So, um, you know, I, I pretty much keep it on that tape delay, but there's other really cool things. Um, let's see. Is this one? Oh. settings differently for more or less delay but again when you're playing in a band um, that gets that gets flattened too so it's not quite as beautiful as it is right now but also that zoom power source has made all my pedals sound better and also this water I think anyway so those are the basic things that I've got going on um, again flat cats on all the time 
Now, for some reason, the light isn't on. It's pretty brand. It's pretty new, so I don't know. Maybe something will just quilter. Um, I'm gonna pause for one second. I'll go. Okay. Well, the first petal I'm gonna use that is in addition to some, the basic, um, you know, compression um, power power pedal, which seems to be needed for this quilter here, um, Sonic Stomp and Reverb, is the uh, Maxon, which again, Jason Ritchie is killing it. And um, I, I was using a, a green zapper, Roscoe Selly found one. It had one little setting that it did some of that, but um, it wasn't consistent with um, the different harps and um, different combinations of things that I had. And, I heard more of what Jason was doing, Jason Ritchie, and um, I just got jealous again, and I wanted to do better. And again, he then suggested, well, you got to have it with a compression pedal. And I go, oh, okay. That's pretty much how these things go, guys. Um, we learn as we learn, right? There's no big set of rules that you have to adopt. So um, I just put this on again last week, and I really like it. Um, because for some reason, and again, um, something that I don't understand, this first row of pedals, there's a pop in between um, turning them on and off, second row not, so who knows why, I'll figure it out another time. So this is, without any delay, with the room reverb um, and everything except mid up a little bit uh, on, a, on, the, um, on the tone job there, this is what it sounds like. <laughs> some of the chorus onto that because I think it's kind of a cool sound. I heard Jason do it in some demonstration and he had other cool things that I don't have but um, we do have this now. <laughs> setting that I like so far with this thing but it's got a couple of features that I like it's got a uh, it's got a it's got a um, throb rate that I kind of like so it sounds like this this is without any um again without any um delays on it <laughs> Synth, I don't know, 
I usually don't play it with the volume pedal. I'm going to try it here. I haven't tried it out yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, back to the earthquake here for a second. Um, the depths. I'm going to try it with um, with with uh, the long delay. Let's see. <laughs> cases you know some cases maybe you do that with a different reverb for example um I'll play that long reverb I was playing before and again there's no delay there but you get that long reverb probably a little too much for that um let's just try this with the hall here So you get that. So let's try this uh, electroharmonics synth line. <laughs> 